All right, good. Uh, <coughs> my name is Philip Weiss, and I want to welcome everybody to uh, this uh, stage reading of the play called A Noble Act. Okay, I wrote the play. I wrote it, produced it, and directed it. Okay, now before I make a few other remarks, I just want to ask everybody to please turn off their cell phones. And during the production, uh, you know, the show, uh, try uh, not to do any texting and stuff like that. The reason being, it actually is distracting to the actors if they see some of the audience, uh, you know, uh, fiddling, fiddling around with their uh, cell phone or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my cell phone. And, uh, and you see, I have a, I mean, my phone is one here will power off. Okay, the device will shut off. Because otherwise, you know, it would be pretty uh, pointless for me to ask you to turn off your cell phone and my cell phone goes on, right? Okay. So, at any rate, like I said before, I wrote, produced, and directed this play. Now, I want to ask everybody a uh, <clears throat> uh, question. You ever hear the movie uh, Gone with the Wind? Yeah, you heard the movie Gone with the Wind. Does anybody know who, uh, can anybody tell me two of the people who starred in this movie, Gone with the Wind? You know, anybody in the audience? Hmm. You know, name one star. Clark Gable, yeah, you are, yeah, okay, yes, no. Okay, another, how about another star? Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee, there you go. Okay, thank you very much. You should be here, baby. Okay, okay. so, now does anybody know who directed Gone with the Wind? Nah, right, nobody knows. It was Victor Fleming. Oh, Right, and, and uh, you know, my point being is that people know the, about these productions because of the cast, all right? Not so much because of who directed it, who produced it, who, you know, who wrote the screenplay, right? You know, these uh, shows uh, are really known by who's in the shows, right? And, uh, and to me, the most important part of putting on a show is... Uh, the key element is the cast. Because without the cast, the words just remain on paper. They're just paper, okay? But if you have a cast, the words come to life, right? And that's why the cast is most important. And I personally have a great affinity for people who decide to make acting a vocation or avocation, meaning a job or a hobby, all right? And uh, it's a beautiful thing to be an actor. Being an actor means you're bringing words to life, you're telling a story, you're doing something important, you're doing something to entertain people, you're doing something to convey information, you're doing something to connect up with people, to improve civilization itself. Now, that sounds like a lot of highfalutin words, but I mean it, okay? Because without this cast, my 96-page script is just a bunch of paper, a bunch of words, silent, dry, meaningless. But if you have a cast, that means your words come to life. And with a cast... Those words come into life, tell a story. And the story can resonate with the audience. And by resonating with the audience, the audience feels good. They're getting something out of it. But if you take the same words and ask them to just read it off, off the page, it's just a bunch of words, okay? Because they have no life. And that's why the two basic elements of theater the script and the cast. And they put more emphasis on the cast. Anybody can write. Anybody can write. Anybody who has any proficiency in literacy can write. And not everybody can act. Acting is a tremendous skill. It's a beautiful thing. And I, you know, I don't take it for granted. 
And uh, at any rate, you know, uh, somebody asked me about this hat. You know, you know my, my the hat, right? And it has a has a label on it. Okay, the reason, yeah, the reason why you know I wear this hat is because that, you know, for some reason I decided whenever I do these plays I have to wear this hat. I don't know why. Really, but another reason is because I think I thought it used to be cool. You know, until somebody told me, Phil, you're not being cool. And then, okay. okay, so, okay, so the reason why I keep the label on is because somebody also told me that as long as I have the label on the hat, I can return the hat. Okay, now, because this hat cost me two dollars. All right, I bought it downstairs, and it's you know a corner a place on Eighth uh, Avenue, right around the corner. Okay, and so I remember that, you know, just in case uh, something happens to the hat, you know, I'll keep the label on, and I'll, I'll be able to return it. That's the only reason why I wear the label. Okay, I know, it sounds ridiculous, right? But, uh, but look, I was told this, and I believed it, <laughs> you know, so, okay, so much for that. Okay, and hey, look, I, I can wear it like this too, right? Not cool, right? Okay, better like this, right? Okay. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to be video recording this play, and uh, like I asked everybody, turn your cell phones. And also, um, you know, if you don't remember the cast, like your relative, I don't expect people to pay, but I'll, let me be honest with you, okay? Is it, is it the capitalist uh, in me now coming out? Okay, any amount of money that you can contribute would be greatly appreciated. Don't give it to me, give it to the box. On that, on that, on that, uh, on that uh, chair over. It, okay, okay. Uh, don't ask me for change or anything, you know. <laughs> and I don't watch to see. I don't watch to see who's, who's giving, you know. I don't give you a dirty look if you don't give. And I nor do I shake a hand if you do give. So I am silently appreciative. Appreciative, believe me. Okay. And uh, so, okay, got that out of the way. All right, boy, I'm struggle. Okay. Now, now what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce the cast, all right? And uh, and when I mention your name, just uh, if you want, you can stand up, wave, wave a little, you know, do whatever you want to do. Okay? And, uh, don't be offensive with that. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna uh, okay. Now I'm gonna stand over to the side. Now I'm gonna call out your names now. Okay. Nancy L. Cohn. Oh, yeah, I didn't up. expect that. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going by the list on, on, okay. on the program. Michael Raymond Fox. Hannah Harding. David E. Jenkins Jr. Alethea Miller. Adam P. Murphy. Colleen Smith. Alberta J. Thompson. Alistair Ward, Charisse Yvette, and last but not least, the gentleman holding the camera, Griffin Blasey. Okay. Okay, now, with that done, I'm going to ask Griffin to turn off 